In lesson 8, we're going to finish our quick look at useful apps for today's class. We're going to talk about WordPad, how to write a letter, saving and loading a file to your hard drive, using the File Explorer, finding the Documents Library, using the Recycle Bin with deleted files, uploading your files to SkyDrive, and we'll look at the Calculator and Notepad apps. The next app I want to show you is a classic Windows app. So let's go back to our desktop. And we've already pinned a couple things here on the taskbar. We pinned WordPad, the calculator, Notepad, and the command prompt. But we're not going to talk about the command prompt today. That's for us nerds. The WordPad application is great for writing letters and other kinds of correspondence. All right. If you're familiar with Microsoft Word, it's very similar. It's a scaled-down version of Word, so it doesn't have all the bells and whistles and the features, but you can use it to write a nice letter. So, return address at the top, right? Richard Ross, enter. Enter gives you a paragraph break, or if you want a simple line break, I'll hit the backspace key, hit shift, enter. That brings you down just a single line. Right? P.O. Box, 4444, shift, enter. Amherst, New York, 14000. Right? Then enter, enter. You can type in the date if you want to, January 25th, 2013, enter, enter. Who's the recipient, right? Mr. Joe Smith, shift, enter, 123 Main Street, shift, enter, Buffalo, New York, 14222, enter, enter. Dear Mr. Smith, right, it has come to my attention, blah, 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 something, something, you're pretty cool when you... Oh, look at that. It wraps down to the end, to the next line. See that? When you get to the end of the line, it wraps down to the next line. When you get this, it will be fun. Enter, enter, enter. Sincerely, Rick. Okay. So, real simple, real quick. Right, I talk about word processing in a lot more detail in my Microsoft Word classes. This is just a real quick overview. And yes, I'll cover WordPad in more detail in a future Windows class. But the reason why I wanted to show you this was because I want to teach you a little bit about working with files in Windows. All right, we typed up a letter. Now I want to save this so I have a copy of it. Well, we're going to come up here to File and then Save. Okay, it's going to say, where do you want to save it? Well, normally, by default, it's going to save it in your Documents folder. Okay, your Documents folder. Come right here, type in a file name. All right, letter to Joe. And then hit Save. Okay, that saved the file on your local hard drive in your Documents folder. So now if I close this, I can come back to it later by simply opening up WordPad, going to File, Open, and here's my Libraries Documents folder. There's my letter to Joe. I can double click on it here, or I can click on it and click on Open, and there's my letter. I always have a copy of my document if I save it in my Documents folder. If you have a printer set up on your computer, you can go to File and then Print and then print right here to print this document to your printer. You can also send it as an email. But I want to do neither of those things, so I'm just going to exit. Now, you can locate your documents if you open up this thing here called the File Explorer. Click on that. That'll take you right to your libraries. Here you can see your documents library, your pictures library, videos, music, you can also see them over here. I'll click on my documents, and there's my letter to Joe. I can double click on this here to open it up, and it opens up in WordPad. All right, close WordPad. If I decide I no longer want this letter to Joe, I can click on it and delete it by hitting the delete key, or I can right click on it and select delete, or I can drag it over here and drop it on this thing called the Recycle Bin. Now, what's the Recycle Bin? Well, the Recycle Bin is just another folder on your hard drive that keeps track of all the things you've deleted. All right, and if I open it up by double-clicking on it, there you can see the things that are in the Recycle Bin. 
Right? It's like a temporary holding space. It's like you've crumpled up a piece of paper and you've put it in the waste basket on the side of your desk. And eh, once a week or so, the janitor is going to come by when your when your waste basket is getting full, and he's going to dump out the oldest stuff in there. So it's kind of like a magic waste basket. All right, you don't have to worry about emptying this unless there's stuff in there that you want to make sure is really gone. It's really deleted. You can right click on this and go empty recycle bin, and that kills everything. But you don't have to. The recycle bin maintains itself. It never gets too full. It's magical. And the nice thing about the recycle bin is if you said, oop, oh, I goofed up, I really do need that letter to Joe, you can right-click on it and go to Restore, and it puts it back. Here, I can close the recycle bin, and there's my letter to Joe. is right back there again. So that's the nice thing about that. And here's your other libraries down here. A library is essentially a collection of other folders where you can store information. We'll talk more about libraries in our future classes. But if I come down here and click on Pictures, for example, there's that picture of me that I saved earlier from the website. It stored it in my pictures library. And you can come down here and browse all the folders on your computer. You can browse around your network and lots more. There's your downloads folder, things you download from Internet Explorer. All right, but there's my documents folder. Now that we know how to save files on our local computer, on our hard drive, I'm going to show you how to save those same files up to your SkyDrive, which is that magical cloud storage service that Microsoft has, where you can keep all of your information up on their server, and you can access it from wherever you want. Let's go back to our Windows Start menu and open up the SkyDrive app. All right, here's Richard's SkyDrive. Now, you have Documents, Pictures, and Public. There's nothing in my Documents folder right now. So let's add the document that we just created to the Documents folder. All right, right-click or swipe up from the bottom to bring up your menu. I'm going to pick Upload. There's my letter to Joe. And then I can hit Add to SkyDrive. All right, and you'll see in the upper right corner there, it says One Item in Progress. It's sending that document. Oh, and there it is. It's now in my SkyDrive. And the beauty of this is I can access it from other computers now. I can log into my office computer, and there's that document. It's the same copy of the document. I can access it from another computer that might not even have Windows 8. You can log into SkyDrive via your web browser, and you can upload and download documents that way. I'll have a whole separate lesson on SkyDrive in the future, but I just wanted to show you that this allows you to save documents in the cloud up on the web. Click on it, and it opens right up. And there it is. You can make your changes, save it, close it, and it goes right back up to your SkyDrive. Now, don't get that copy confused with the copy that's right there. I've made two copies now. I've got my local copy, and I've got my SkyDrive copy. So there's two copies of that document floating around right now. So just keep that in mind. All right, some other useful applications. Calculator, obviously. All right, you can use the keyboard if you want to, or you can type in with the numbers here, right? Buttons plus this equals that. There's different views available. There's standard, scientific, with all those extra sine and cosines, right? There's programmer. It's got binary and such. Right, statistics. I usually stick with standard. Okay, pretty straightforward. And yes, I'll cover all those different features in a future class. Notepad. Notepad is real good for just saving quick notes. Okay? Like, you know, I, I keep my to-do list in Notepad. And I'm just going to say in here, you know, uh, make sure to finish Windows class, call uh, publisher, you know, burn CDs. It's my to-do list for today. Now, I'm going to save this file. Save or save as. Save as, just let you specify a different file name if you want to. Um... Instead of saving this in my document library, though, I'm going to save this on my desktop. All right, pick desktop, and then come in here and type in a file name like to do list, and then hit save. What that does is now I can close this. Now it's saved it right up here on my desktop. See that to do list, and I can put that wherever I want to, like over here. So now it's right there on my desktop in my face, and I always see it. I can open it up right from there, make some changes, close it. Now. There's very little formatting available in Notepad, but this is great for just quick little, you know, text notes. And sometimes if I'm working, you know, I'll have, I'll have six or seven of these open over here on the right side of my desk 
while I'm working on stuff over here. All right, that's what I use the notepad for. All right, awesome little application. I can slide that right under there. And that's notepad.